How you doing? I'm Josh with Wooden Essentials. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a wooden cooler. This cooler is only made out of pine, cedar, and an old cooler that I found up in the attic. Let me show you how I made it. I figured the best way to tackle this project was to start with the legs. I'm going to take two 2x4s, butt them up against each other using pocket hole joinery. Drill in three holes for each leg, then putting wood glue on each leg. Since this will be outside, I'm using Type Bond 3 wood glue because it is waterproof. Make sure the legs are flush when you're screwing this together. If you can't get it flush, then use a clamp for the boards to hold it together during this step. Next, I am dismantling the whole cooler. So that way I can build the frame around the base and also the lid. Later in the video, I will be working on the drain. Off camera, I cut 2x4s to fit around the top. I messed around with the size of the frame a bit because I wanted to make sure the cooler can slide in and out real easy. Attaching all four legs using just glue and screws. Then over to the table saw to cut down cedar fence pickets. These will be placed on top of the 2x4s where the cooler slid into. I guess you could say they're kind of like a trim piece and it looks a lot better than the 2x4s underneath. Somehow I managed not to record me building the bottom frame. It's basically just the scrap 2x4s from the legs. So I flipped it back over and I placed the cooler back in and I built the bottom frame around it and then I'm just screwing it all together. Using more cedar fence pickets to cover up everything. Securing them with brad nails and glue. I went with cedar fence pickets because cedar is naturally waterproof and the fence pickets are really not that expensive. I cut more cedar down with my table saw so that way I could add some trim to the top and to the bottom. I think it gives it a nice look. Off camera, I cut more 2x4s down for the lid. Once I got a nice snug fit, I put it together with more pocket holes. Now I'm screwing it to the lid so everything stays together. Countersinking the screws. After that, I check and make sure the lid fits perfectly.
Once I got that done, it's time to add more cedar to the top of the lid, securing it to the 2x4s. The fence pickets are only a half inch thick, so it doesn't make this whole build look too bulky. The 2x4s already have that job covered. For the drain, I took a pin and marked where the hole was going to go. Then I took a Forstner bit to cut it out. I was able to reuse the gasket from the old drain. Can't see it, but that does connect to a small piece of PVC pipe that goes into the cooler. I took everything apart so that way I could sand it. I just did a light sanding to 120 grit. For the finish, I'm using spar urethane. It is waterproof and I think it also gives it a really nice look. I put three coats on it on the inside and the outside. Lightly sanding in between each coat with 400 grit sandpaper. Adding casters to the bottom along with the bottle opener to the side. Then putting everything back together. Also struggling to put that drain through the gasket. Finally, adding the hinges and a handle to the lid. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos we got on the channel.